This structure is known as the Trumpeter's Well. It's a small well house covering a natural spring. It lies in Avondale on the road between Straven and Darvel, the road running down through the Irvine Valley, eventually reaching Kilmarnock. In the 1850s, the well is said to have been disused, filled with stones and abandoned. However, later on in the 19th century, the well, this well house was built, and the well inside apparently has a stone surround, the water being used to supply Hillhead Farm that lies above, a farm which might date possibly from the 18th or even the 17th century. Well houses are not at all common in Scotland. This one has a circular section, but very professionally built with ashlar stone, a wooden door, and also a slate-covered conical roof. The site in the small settlement or hamlet of Calder Mill is easily visited. There's even a labour I crossed the road. There's also a sign showing that it's on the Covenanters' trail, and this is where the clue lies to the origin of this unusual name of Trumpeter. On the 1st of June 1679, the Reverend Thomas Douglas held a conventicle and a legal religious meeting near Loudon Hill. This was during the killing times. A dispute existed between the King and the people of Scotland over the governance of the Church. The King had proclaimed himself to be head of the Church, whilst the people believed that only God could hold that position. The Covenanters became aware that John Graham of Claverhouse, later known as Bloody Clavers, was leading some of the King's troops towards their position, so they chose a battleground at Drum Clog. Details are confused, but Claverhouse probably had around 250 troops with him, whilst the Covenanters, led by Robert Hamilton, had around a thousand. The Covenanters were victorious. During the battle, Claverhouse's horse was badly injured by a Thomas Findlay who was fighting for the Covenanters using a pitchfork. He was, managed, he was able to escape the battlefield itself, but he found that the horse was un unable to go any further. He decided to take the horse from his trumpeter or cornet, a 14-year-old boy. With that, he escaped to safety. The trumpeter now on foot and probably accompanied by a few other soldiers, managed to make it as far as Calder Mill. They were desperately thirsty and stopped to have a drink, at which point they were caught by the Covenanters. He said he was killed and his body thrown down the well. It's also said to be uh, a mass grave there of other soldiers from the battle. Calder Mill is a much quieter place these days. The old corn mill is now a private house. The old mill pond has dried up. The old post office has closed, as, is, as has the smithy. And even the old bridge has been replaced by a new concrete structure. 